Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. Today I'm going to um, do a reveal of an early birthday present that I received. And um, my birthday is on the 27th, so I'm an Aquarius. And um, my dear friend, that Nita, that gave me this early birthday gift, she is also a star person. She's an Aquarius. And she gifted me with the amazing Starman Tarot. It's gorgeous. So thank you, Nita. And I thought I would show you uh, the box, the cards. Let's just kind of take a look through because it, it's truly amazing. And this is the big set, the big cards. And let me open it up here. And you'll see it has a certificate, um, the number. This was 2005 out of 3000. And then it has uh, some artwork in the back. And the book that came with it, I have a little, a few um, bookmarks here because I wanted to go over a few things. It's amazing because this book is, is in color. And it has a lot about each card. It has um, the background. And this deck was illustrated and created by David DeAngelis. And the book was a uh, collaboration of David DeAngelis and his wife Esther. They're both artists. Um, and I'll read a little bit in the back of the book of their background because and he he had worked with David Bowie on um, on different projects but he actually met him when he was 10 years old and also some of the uh, tarot notes are by Jamie Alford so I wanted to give that credit but he had uh, met David Bowie when he was 10 years old in a restaurant with his father. And then I think it was 20 years later, that's when he found himself working with um, David Bowie in, on his album, Outside. So um, a little bit about the uh, artist and um, his wife. Art, uh, David did the artwork. His wife collaborated with him on the book. Um, but David's from London. He's an artist. He's also an um, author, philosopher, facilitator, and speaker. And he has worked with um, many companies. But he is just a very um, visual and visionary uh, creator. And um, a lot of people call him a, a uh, visual alchemist. And then his wife, Esther, she uh, is also an artist. She's from Scotland. And she is a coach, an artist, she's a speaker also, and she's a musical improv improviser and a mother. And she has created in Bali when she lives, she created a full fashion line. So these are really creative people. And I wanted to go a few, I'll show you a few cards, but there were a, things that, a few things that stood out here in the book that I wanted to go over. And um, uh, David and Esther, uh, said about this book is it's a vivid expression um, containing both the excitement and trepidation about you know about a project creating a project as big as a tarot uh, you know a tarot um, set uh, tarot decks and you know the artwork is you know tra you know it traverses um, street art um, mental topography uh, sci-fi imagery um, some punk rock um, sacred geometry and some of the um, from some of the earliest decks on the Solobusco, and the Starman deck is um, it pays an homage to Jack um, Bernie's original 1940s superhero Starman, and he created um, the a lot of the artwork that David created with um, David Bowie was um, the Japanese art, and I think I. Didn't look up how to pronounce it. It's um, Kintsugi, I think. It's K I N T T S U G I, and that's the art of repairing broken pottery with gold, silver, or platinum. And he was totally fascinated with that um, by the process of turning something perceived as damaged into something of increased value. And many of the cards have um, have this uh, have this effect on the cards. And I'll go through some of the cards. We'll look at that. Um, I wanted to see some of the other things that I wanted to kind of cover from the book. And let's see. And although um, you know he talks about that you know the tarot deck is not he's not repeating um, something that's already known and shared about 
Tarot because there's lots of decks that do that. But he was more into um, doing a deck to ignite, um, just ignite and explore questions through the power of creativity. And you know, all of these cards here, they just offer a fragment of life and examining um, from, through a specific context. So um, let's take a look. We're at my next mark here in the book, and then we'll take a look at the cards. We'll get started. Okay, let's get started with some of our major cards. And there's always two cards I look for when I get a new deck. And that is my birth, those are my birth cards, the star card. And pull up the rest of the majors. And the strength card. So here is you get a certificate when you get your deck. And let me see some of these somehow got out of order. Well, here's strength in the star because these are, yeah, here we go. These are my two. These are the ones I always look for. Here is strength, and that is a beautiful card. And there's so much in these images. You really, um, you know, you could just even take a magnifying glass and look at all, all just all the images. Just there may be one thing that your eye goes on, but that's to me that's a beautiful strength card. And then the star card. That really, uh, that really pops. That's very different. Um, let's take a look at some of the other cards, some of the major arcana cards that he has. Okay, his fool is called the Sacred Clown. And then there's the Magician, the Star Man. And let me read a bit about this card to you, because I found this one fascinating. And, and, and one of the captions is, I will blow your mind. And you know this, the magician is the alchemist in um, traditional decks, and in, in most decks, is the alchemist. And it really talks about um, it's just not the magic inside of us, but what comes through us from the universe. And he, um, it talks about manifesting reality. Ideas are communicated and brought into the physical world oh, with ease. You have everything you need to create the world you desire. Reconfigure yourself in liberating experience, expressive in comp and complex ways. And the one thing that, let's see, there was something else. Okay, and that's what he, um, in one of the paragraphs, he says, he knows the power does not come from him, but through him. And he wields it with absolute integrity, creating something magical out of nothing. The star man offers us the el elixir. So it's really, um, it's all about us, but it, it's about coming through us. So here's just an example of one of the pages in the book here. Let me go through some of the other cards I know you'll enjoy. Okay, here's the High Priestess. Oh, and there's this is a beautiful Empress. The colors, um, it almost has that Japanese artifact that he was talking about. Close. And then the emperor. And I like where, almost coming out of his solar plexus, there is a ball of light. And a hierophant. A lot of power coming out of his hands. The chariot. His hermit is the alien. So that's a very different take on that card. A different and yes, yes and no. I like that. The wheel. And then justice. And these are the backs of the cards. Uh, we've got our hanged man. Temperance is always fascinating me, except for me that card is the healer. 
Um, it's a very alchemical card too. This devil is pretty interesting. Uh, and the tower. Got the moon. There's so much detail in these cards. You're almost channeling information as you look and look at these cards. Information comes channeled down. And then we have judgment. And then the last of the major arcana, the world. And then I wanted to show you, um, so the book is pretty thick. And along also comes with, um, it's called The Story of a Vision, Starman Tarot. And it has beautiful artwork through, the, through this book. Very visionary. And the paper is almost foiled, but it's not. It, it has that effect. And there's one here that really stood out. Here's a beautiful one too. So I'm excited to get working with this deck. And I'm going to pull one of the major arcana cards for us, and then just for our message. Ah! The Hanged Man. And that's actually, it's two are stuck together, so maybe that meant to come out the Hanged Man and Death. Um, but let's look at the Hanged Man, and we can then look at, at Death. The Hanged Man is actually um, the tarot card for this year, for 2019. And so, you know, we're asked to look through maybe a different lens, a different perspective. Um, you know, he's got, there's a lot of insight coming down in this one. And let's take a look in what he talks about for this particular card. When I look at it, a lot's just happening, a lot's coming down and just happening here through the body and out through, out through the head. So there's a lot of... Um, there's just a lot of when I when I see this, there's there's just a lot of feeling, um, feeling in the body. Uh, so a lot of times, what you know, what's going on with us is actually um, it actually manifests in our body. And so this hangman with this pause, it's actually for me just kind of feeling it, uh, feeling what I'm feeling. But let's take a look at what some of the things he spoke about. The hanged man, and the caption is, "I now surrender. Thy will be done." And it's surrendering to the unknown. Sacrifice your idea of power. Allow the pause to give you perspective. Attainment of the it says the tiger self and enlightenment. And I don't, yeah. So maybe it's not the higher self, but the tiger self are within reach. And then if this, and the, what, one thing that was interesting is that I forgot to look at is the magician card. That one, there's no reversal for that one. But all the other ones seem to have a reversal. And in the reversal for this one, it talks about your life has been suspended for a time. Efforts to challenge the circumstances of your life are repeatedly failing and you are missing the opportunity to go within and listen to your inner voice which is being drowned out by all the drama journey within through meditation to receive insight and receive trust in yourself and the process of life so um that is and it's also talking about being sometimes we're being forced to take a time out it's almost kind of like the tower um if we don't do something uh maybe we're forced to do it and sometimes with the hang them in that also um, comes about. And when I was thinking in the physical body, when I saw this, it's, you know, maybe something happens with us in our physical body to, to help us slow down if we don't pay attention.
and take that pause and go inward and see what we need to look at from a different perspective. So um, I'm seeing that. And the one that was stuck to it um, is death. And death, that's always an interesting card, the transformation. So um, what do we need? And it goes with the hangman because what do we need to let go of to actually transform into something else? Because oftentimes we can't take things with us. Sometimes we need to let something go. And it can be fertilizer or it can, and it can be compost from what comes next. So sometimes we have to let some things go. Um, before we go across and make that tr and make transformation and create that transformation so and oftentimes death or the hangman can be some sort of sacrifice and a terror mentor of mine Ellen Goldberg said something very um, it was something very wise in one of her posts recently and she was talking about as we as we get older sometimes we have to change um, we get comfortable with certain things that maybe don't happen to be so good for us, you know, and we could take diet, for example, you know, our food, you know, we get in this comfort zone of certain foods, but maybe it just doesn't agree with us, but, you know, it's comforting. So to be able to give up that comfort for some vitality and more energy, so surrendering to that, and when we think about it that way, it doesn't feel like we're sacrificing that much of what we're giving up because we're getting something else. So I think that's what maybe the card's message, the card's message for us today. So I wanted to thank you for stopping by. Um, hi Marie, hello. <laughs> and if you want to know any information about this deck or at some point if you'd like me to pull a card for you and I can, I would be glad to because I'm going to uh, take this on holiday with me. So until we meet again, be well. And thanks, thanks again.